Hi everyone, good morning, what is up? Welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Brianna and I'm excited to spend the next few days with all of you. So, I felt inspired when I woke up this morning because I feel like I've been out of a, a vlogging routine since moving back into my mom's. I feel not uninspired, just like not as wanting to vlog. So I'm trying to push myself through it because I know that when I do vlog I have so much fun and like I want to get back into it so I woke up this morning and just felt really inspired to pick up the camera so I don't really know what's gonna go on the next two days but you're all coming along on the ride so let's do it I also was up really early this morning because I almost feel like my jet lag is delayed so for those of you that don't know I just came back from Spain on Monday and I was up for a full 24 hours for my travel day back from Spain and when I went to bed that Monday night I was perfect woke up two Tuesday felt fine Tuesday night I went to bed like a little bit early like earlier than I normally do woke up at like seven o'clock was good ready to go but Wednesday last night I fell asleep on the couch at eight o'clock woke up at like 10 and then I went into bed and woke up this morning at 5 30 so I've been up since 5 30 it's 9.30 right now and I did some editing watched some TV tried to go back to bed but just like couldn't do it like I just couldn't fall back asleep so I'm hoping that I won't be absolutely exhausted today because it's just gonna be a long day if that's the case and I'll be living off diet soda and coffee but I'm in a chatty mood I'm in a good mood I'm feeling excited to be vlogging again so subscribe stick around and we have a lot of fun around here I'm also loving my Stanley so I just wanted to throw that in randomly I'm loving this thing it is amazing. I still love my Yetis, but this is just so big that I feel like I try to drink two of these a day and I'm really proud of that. So this is what we're working with now. Thursday, which is today, we have to go to Costco, Corey and I, and I think my mom's going to come with us as well because we need some like Diet Coke and vitamin water and liquid IVs and just odds and ends from Costco that we always buy or used to buy from Costco in Boston. So we need to do that. I have a really cool, exciting package to share with all of you from Cuts. So we'll talk about that a little bit later on this afternoon. My sweatshirt's from Cuts, so stay tuned. I'll tell you which one, what size, color, and I'll give you a discount code. But we have some Cuts things to open today. What else? I think tomorrow is a lighter work day, so that will be kind of nice. And today's a really busy work day, so I need to go sit down at my desk again and just like get myself organized and put together for the morning. That's about it. It's just going to be a fun, realistic, like two work days in my life. It's been a little bit different since being at my mom's because Corey and I aren't close to the city anymore and our days are just a little bit different. I think we're both still trying to get into a routine, trying to just figure out what we want to do during the week and such and foremost so we're still figuring that out so that will be later to come but I am gonna go sit at my desk because I have them some things to do and let's go see what's on my calendar for my day this is an amazing tripod it's my Stanley look at this Corey it's literally holding my Stanley perfect That's hilarious. or holding my camera perfectly so you're all sitting on my Stanley tumbler but What's on the docket for today? So it is 9.27 or just turned 9.28. So I do have a one-on-one -on -one at 9.30. I have a one-on-one -on -one at 10, a one-on-one -on -one at 10.30, and a one-on-one -on -one at 11.30. So I have two hours of meetings this morning. And then in the afternoon, I have potential spam is calling. In the afternoon, I have an hour and a half of meetings. So not as much as this morning, but still kind of a busier day. And then I do just have a few odds and ends I need to get done today work-wise and personal-wise. I need, personal wise I need to order a dresser because I need a dresser for our bedroom that I need to order I need to track our Amazon packages because they should be here today so I need to put all those things away because it's Thursday work wise I need to fill out my Excel tracker and there was one other thing I had to do as I sort through my inbox I'll probably I mean I need to sort through my inbox as well that's really how I like to start my morning I just look at my schedule and say okay where do I have pockets in the day that I can do some of my tasks where can i throw in some personal things in as well i think from 2 30 to 3 i'm going to fold our laundry during the day like i'm actually going to put it in my calendar to fold laundry in bedroom so i think that's another tip that i have for those that are work from homers or work from home once in a while i think it's really important to 
add in one or two personal things to your day while you're working from home i think it's just important to make sure that you're pulling yourself away from your computer and we're very lucky because we have as you can see an office space so we're not actually working in our living room or our kitchen but it's just nice to have that personal space so into my meetings i'll go and i'll see you at lunch 12 o'clock has come and it is time for lunch. I'm starving. I've had a really busy morning. I like busy mornings, don't get me wrong, because I feel like my afternoons are less busy, but like in my job, a busy morning to me is I'm constantly in one-on-ones, so I talk for like four hours in the morning. I'm never doing work, like Excel work too much or like to-do tasks. Like I don't have as much of that as I have like one-on-one -on -one meetings. So it's just like a little bit draining and takes a lot out of me. I wanna enjoy my lunch and sit at my desk and watch some more YouTube because I just feel like I haven't got to catch up on that in a while. Before that, I wanted to share just a little bit about my sweatshirt today and a few other things. So like I mentioned beforehand, actually, let me put you all down so I don't need to hold the camera because I don't really wanna hold, would like to just be hands free, but wanted to do a little bit in this video and show you all my cuts haul which is so amazing and so great so for those of you that are new or don't remember I am an ambassador for the cuts team and I absolutely love love cuts I have two of their shirts already they're so incredible they're really focused on work leisure so clothes that could be appropriate for work and leisure but are also really amazing amazing quality beautiful colors and they're just really great staple and investment pieces so I wanted to show you all some of the new cuts clothing that I got in the mail because it is so amazing and the quality is amazing along with the fact that I have a discount code so wanted to share with all of you so here is my sweatshirt so this is actually the hoodie cloud fleece I ended up getting it in a size medium I love this so much i have gotten i had four one-on-one -on -one meetings this morning and every single person complimented me on my sweater and was like that's such a beautiful color that looks so nice you look so put together and it really is so nice again you can really only see from here up when i'm on zoom working but it really is so nice and the hoodie is beautiful in the back it is not something that's going to cover your butt at least the size i got i just got it to be right above but it is a little bit of more of that like cropped look so if i had jeans i could do like a little bit of a front tuck it's not one of those like overpowering heavy weighed something that you feel like you're suffocating but it's thick enough that i've been warm all day and it's been so so nice the material of this is so like buttery soft it's just amazing the insides like lightly fleece lined this is the first hoodie i got and let me show you a few other things so next i got this boxy crew neck again i'm sorry the lighting is a little bit weird but it cuts off about right here i ended up sizing up like two to three sizes in this so i ended up getting a large i wanted something really big really oversized and just something really comfortable that i could also dress up and down with jeans so today i just paired it with leggings and some cute slippers and socks over top of this with like a vest would be perfect because it almost gives that onesie feel again it does crop like right about here and then it does not cover my butt in the back it's like right about above because they're that cropped fit it's just like not gonna cover your butt the exact same material as the hoodie i almost like the crew neck a little bit better i almost wish i got the other one in the large i'm somebody that likes things a little bit oversized but i feel like front tucked with some jeans and like a little flat or a little sneaker like running errands but also can transition to date night i feel like this is perfect so the cuts team and what they're known for is work leisure so things that you can wear to work and feel really put together and feel really good in but also feel leisurely and comfortable and for someone who is a fully remote employee that is exactly what i need so it is perfect for me so i will put on the screen here my discount code with cuts i believe that it's brianna 15 for 15 percent off at checkout and i have had cuts t-shirts for about three months now they don't have one pill they have not shrunk they are just the exact same quality as the first time that i pulled them out of the bag this is just a little bit on cuts i love them i love working with them thank you cuts for wanting to work with me that's all i've got for right now so i am going to put back on my sweatshirt so i don't need to wear like two sweaters in a day but it is time for me to go make some lunch i have some leftover pasta with red sauce oh, for lunch it's gonna be so good so i'm gonna go enjoy my lunch 
and then I'm just gonna sit down and watch some YouTube. Okay, and just like that, the work day is done. It's 5.36, my mom should be home pretty soon, so we're gonna start dinner. Originally, our plan was to go to Costco, but the weather outside is like torrential downpour. It's like disgusting and super gloomy and crappy out, so I think we're gonna skip Costco. Maybe Corey and I will add that to like our weekend to-do list. It just, I do not wanna go out in the cold weather and like pouring rain. It's just like really raw and gross, so we're not gonna do that, but Tonight, we're definitely gonna end up watching Manifest, which is what we're actually watching right now, Corey, my mom, and I. It's amazing, and I need to keep myself awake at least until 10 o'clock, so probably gonna read for a little bit, have dinner, and then we'll watch Manifest for the rest of the night. So my mom is making like her breaded fish dinner, which is like my absolute favorite, so I'll have her like show you exactly how she makes it. We'll kind of cook dinner together, which will be fun. And that's it, the workday is done, so I'm gonna go sit on the couch and read for a little bit before my mom gets home, and then we'll all cook dinner together. The threesome is back at it, me, Corey, and my mom. My mom is cooking dinner, and like I said before, I'm gonna take you all along just really quick on how she bakes baked fish. Now, let me just preface and say, she doesn't measure, I've never seen her use a cup, a tablespoon, any sort of measuring object in my life. So we're just gonna walk through how she does baked fish. Olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Yep, and then we're using tilapia. I liked this better than the one you used the other night. Um, I think you used what? The other what? night was flounder. Yeah, well I liked this better, I feel like. Which is so funny, because technically tilapia is a bottom feeder, but, yeah, but this is what we use. So whatever, then you just lay it in. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, fish is in the pan. Just layered. I mean, come on, Mom. That's really... Oh, ye of little faith. You better get enough breadcrumb on there. And there you have it. All right, so olive oil and a little bit of olive oil spray on the bottom of the pan. A little bit of oil. On the top. Yeah, I'm an oil freak. Yeah, I feel like... But you know what? Oh, I feel like that's an Italian need, thing. You don't need to use as much oil as As I we do, do yeah. I that's feel like ours perfume. food swims in it. <laughs> that's my perfume. Now, what? these are panko breadcrumbs, not regular. Correct. And you just literally drizzle them over the top. Yep. So I think you know why I was making my fish wrong. I used to put my fish in the breadcrumb on the top and the bottom. Oh no. I think, so that's why I think I used to make it not as good as you. No. So you basically, it's almost like, it looks like a bake here, but we normally are not making that many pieces of fish. My brother and sister-in-law were supposed to be here, but we normally don't make like, I feel like that much fish. Are you putting more breadcrumbs on the top? Now I'll just put a little bit of regular breadcrumbs. You always do, do you always do both? Yeah. I've never ever bought that kind of breadcrumb. I've only ever bought panko breadcrumbs. Just to fill in the blank a little bit. Yeah, okay. Because the best part of this is? Is the crust. The crust. Yeah. You know what's funny? This looks like a fish bake, but that's like not how we normally make it. It's just because there's so much fish in there. So normally, if you're not shoving all the fish in there like this, the breadcrumbs only go on the fish. Right, and not all over the pan, but it looks more like a bake. And more olive oil. And now olive oil. <laughs> Top again. It's just my, more, more, it's more. It's my perfume. It's my signature smell. Olive oil? Yeah, I love to put it on everything. I mean, I hear you. Salt. A little salt. I'm going to put a ton. Yeah. Because. Oh, did I not take the garlic salt out? Correct. So kind of like a half and half. Okay. Garlic salt. And I go down one way and then and back, back up the other. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. Parsley for yeah. color. If you have fresh parsley, you can use that. I don't know the last time we ever used fresh unless it's for whipping. our potatoes. And that's just some baked fish. And you put what? Just I think one more thing on there after that. Adobo. No? No. You don't put adobo on there? No. I always put adobo on mine. That's probably why mine doesn't taste as good. I'm almost like relearning how to do this myself because... A little bit of pepper. Yeah. And that's the baked fish. And then and it's... the broiler. Yeah, I was going to say it's always on broil. So she never bakes it. It's just broil. And then we put it in for... I mean, there's a lot of fish in there. So you would say you're probably going to broil it for what? Ten? 20? Yeah, it all depends. I mean, there's a lot of fish in there, I feel like. It all depends. I don't have the fish right at the top of the broiler because otherwise it'll burn it fast. Yeah. This way it has a little bit of time to cook. Yeah. The fish itself. That's a good point. Let the cook, let that cook by itself a little bit. And yeah. And I may raise it up a little bit higher. Okay. And family dinner is served. This is how the fish came out. I would say that's normally how it looks when we don't shove that many pieces in there. The top just needs to be like brown and crispy. And like my mom said, they do all kind of shrivel up. So it's perfect. And we're doing some white rice, some green bean. And we're having a little family dinner. And that's that. <laughs> we are snuggled up on the couch. Dinner was amazing. I'm in a bathrobe. Corey has some tea. Mr. Bear, and we're just kind of hanging out. We're gonna watch a few episodes of Manifest 2. Close out the night tonight. My mom just went outside. Did she go outside to put her car in the garage? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're just hanging, getting ready for some Manifest dinner, 10 out of 10. 
I had two plates. It was You're so two good. plates? Like, I had I not love. an extra piece of fish, but I had like a little bit of extra fish and green beans and rice. You it was always so have good. more rice, that's standard. Yeah, it was just so good. We're gonna hang out, watch the manifest, close out the night, and I'll see you all first thing tomorrow morning because we're still vlogging tomorrow, but we're just resting and enjoying a relaxing evening. No Costco, cause crappy weather. A good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I feel like this has been the longest week ever because since I came back from Spain, I'm still trying to get through a little bit of jet lag. Work has been crazy, so I feel like Friday, this is like a very well-deserved Friday. We ended up finishing Manifest last night, the episodes that are on Netflix, because I think that the second part of season four is coming on to Netflix in like a few months, but holy cow, like the twists and the turns last night were so good. So we finished up Manifest, Corey, my mom and I, and then we just went to bed around 11.30 and I did sleep through the night, which was great. I was really tired, so I'm happy that I was able to like sleep through. I think I woke up this morning at like 7.30, maybe a little bit later once Corey came back from the gym, but wanted to share a little OOTD because I have another Cuts t-shirt on today. So this is in the color Dune. It is the, I think it's the almost Friday, like boxy tea, I'll have it linked below, but let me show you my outfit a little bit better in the mirror. Again, still working on the lighting. It's giving like very yellow and orange, but it's, just, it's okay. It's just, it's a really gloomy day today. We haven't seen sun in days, and I just feel like it is what it is at this point. I'm getting a dresser today, so over the weekend we'll build that all together, but it's gonna go right here, which will put the mirror in front of the window, so I'll have a lot better natural light, which will be perfect and perfecto, but wanted to show my outfit so this little thing is from Target my little Sherpa but this t-shirt is one of the almost Friday t-shirts from Cuts again I'll have my discount code linked down below but they are so soft and so so extremely comfortable this is the color dune so it's a little bit lighter it's like we're going to Florida we just booked a trip to go to Florida for about four weeks all I will be packing is my Cuts t-shirts so I absolutely love them they're super comfortable yeah just love them so thought I would share another little OOTD featuring Cuts just a very like relaxing few work days in my life. It is right about to hit nine, so I need to go and make a delicious cup of coffee and then sit down at my desk. I wanted to share, I don't know if anyone here that is watching has an Aldi, the grocery store near them, but my mom buys these cappuccino drink, like K-cups in the caramel flavor. I'll see if I can show it. It's a little bit blurry perfect, there it goes. So these are the pods that my mom buys, and let me tell you, they are amazing. Like. They are absolutely delicious. I don't know what it is about them, but they're so good, so I wanted to share that cappuccino mix. I'm gonna make my cappuccino pod, and then I'm gonna go and sit at my desk and start the day. Well, it's definitely not the same day, because uh, I have got to get better about picking up the camera more sporadically at my mom's. I feel like it's just, I keep, ooh, this is really bloody hot. Ow, I just burned my hand. I just forget wow we're having some damage this morning in my hair too which is just like not great but i wanted to just do a quick check-in so i ended up not picking up the camera yesterday after the morning because i just had a really busy work morning and then we ended up going to a hockey game last night to watch um one of my really good friends rachel her fiance and one of our good friends zach plays for the harford wolf pack so we went and watched him play he had an amazing game they lost but still a great game now it's saturday and i am gonna vlog saturday and sunday but in a separate vlog so i just wanted to come in and just do a quick little morning check-in I'm in my jammies. I just woke up because I curled my hair yesterday. It's not actually my normal crazy haggard morning hair, which is kind of nice, but it's going to be a fun weekend. Thanks for spending the last few two days with me. I know that I didn't get to vlog too, too much and it was a little bit more lax and relaxing, but we baked my mom's fish together. We did some more fun stuff and the weekend of my life is going to be super fun too because we're having a productive Saturday and a relaxing family Sunday. So that's going to be really fun to vlog. We're building a dresser. We're going shopping. We're going to the Cheesecake Factory. So Saturday and Sunday this week are going to be just full of a lot of beautiful, wholesome moments. So stick around and get ready for that one. But I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.